In the last video, we already learned about how to display a simple list of items on a dialog. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to display items with the checkboxes so that user can select multiple items from the list. So first, here I am going to add some string array. And then press tokens add the items. Okay, so here I place a symbol string array that contain three items. So now we are going to display these items on a dialog with the checkboxes. So go to the dialog fragment class. So here is the uh, dialog builder object. So first here I'm going to create some array list for saving the user selection. selected items so first we can initialize that array list okay so now we can set the title for the dialog your tokens okay so for display a dialog with the checkboxes you have to call the method called the set to multi choice items so build and do set multi choice items first parameter is the array so here it is available on the array called the toppings. Second parameter is which item is need to be selected. So we don't want any items to be selected, so we can pass null. Now we can specify the click listener. So from this method, we can uh, we can pick the selected items by the user. So if the user select or unselect an item, this method will be invoked. So first here I am going to create some variables. Items. Get activity, get resources, get string array. Okay. So now we can check whether the user select or unselect. So if it is each checked, that means user select an item. In that case, we have to add the selected items to the array list. So m selected items to add. So items uh, you can get the position by using the variable which so if the user select an item we successfully add the item to the array list otherwise that means user unselect an item I'll see if m selected items dot contain items of which In that case, we have to remove the item from the array list. So, in selected items, don't uh, remove items of which. So, now we can specify the positive and negative buttons for the dialog. So, build and load set positive button specify the title now specify the click listener now we can specify the negative button set negative button okay so if the user 
click the positive button we have to display the user selection all that first here i'm going to declare some variable string final final selection Construction for each loop if string item equal to m selected item. So now we can attach the selected items to this variable. So final selection equal to final selection plus after each item we can put a new line. Now specify the item. Okay. So the user selection available on this variable called the final selection. Finally, we can display the user selection using a cost. Get activity selection final selection. Okay. So now the project is ready. Now we can test it. So I run the project. Okay, now the project available on this virtual device. So display the dialog. So here the dialog contain items with the checkboxes. So now I select all the items and click the OK button. So here is the user selection. Now I select only one item. And click the OK button so here is the selection now first I select all the item and I remove the first item click OK so here is the selection so this is how we display dialog with items that contain checkboxes I hope you understand the concept for getting more Android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel thank you for watching see you in the next video